Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I received a question from Microsoft 2008 a day ago saying, can I ask you something? What are hosts on LimeWire? What does need more sources mean? I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about P2P. Now P2P stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. If you imagine downloading a file from a website such as download.com, you're actually downloading a file from a web server, which is a dedicated server um, somewhere on the internet. Now peer-to-peer -peer allows you to download files from other people, so these are actual like, other people that use the internet, their computers um, that have the file on, you can actually download from them and these programs enable you to do it. So they use various networks, Frostwire, Utarrant, iMesh and Email, and I'll just be showing you a brief explanation of we each one. If I slip up or anything then please feel free to correct me in the comments. So we'll begin with Frostwire. Now I asked my friend about Frostwire and um, I said to her, what do you think happens when you download a file off LimeWire? And then she says, oh you download it from the internet. Uh, no, that's not true. You actually download it from other people or what they call in the actual network ultra peers. So LimeWire actually uses the Nutella network and it uses a process which I'll, I'm going to call hubs. Um, basically, I won't explain this ultra peer just yet. This is, we're just going to talk about the hub part of it. Basically, the older Nutella network allowed everybody to be equal on, on the network and what would happen is, if I, it still happens, but there is a limitation now, which is taking it um, a little bit further, which I'll explain afterwards. But as you can see, I'm connecting to the network with Frostwire, which is LimeWire Pro, uh, just an older version. Uh, as you can see, oh, I haven't connected, so we're going to connect. Here we go, turbocharged connection. Um, when I go to search a file, it's going to, it's going to connect to other computers other people's computers, because already it's got a list that it's going to connect to, so when it says turbocharged connection it's got a list it's going to connect to um, when I initiate my search and it's going to connect them straight away and ask them for the file I want. So if I go to programs and then Ubuntu, straight away it's, it's said to some computers nearby, can you please search for Ubuntu? And they then search, they pass through and search to other computers, which then search to other computers and other computers, and it branches off until um, the computers that you're uh, using, uh, searching, find their own um, the the query that I've searched on their own local hard drive, because when you, you your client can act as a server, and you can see that I've got five files here and I'm sharing them, so people can download these five files off me, and if anybody searches for it and my computer turns up as one of them, um, they can then download off me directly. So you see that they've got a number of hashes here. It says hash here and it says 48, 48, 15, 10, 6. These are the amount of hosts that own the same file. And when I go to download it, it's going to download pieces off more than one person. These are just people that have got just one file. So to answer your question of what are hosts, hosts are people that own the file. So if I was to, I'm not going to try and download the natural one that's not a virus because I'll explain that in a second. So four hosts have this. And you can see it's connecting. It's now branching through all these things again to perform a direct connection to people who have this file. So hopefully we'll have a connection and it will start downloading. It may take a while because we're directly connecting. Um, it may come up and say need more sources. Now what does need more sources mean, as you asked? Uh, need more sources means that there isn't any more people that you can connect to. Either you've got a connection problem your end and you can't directly connect on them. It says waiting on busy host, so I must have a problem somewhere. Um, you can't directly connect to them or they've uh, quit the network, their client has quit the network in the time it took you to search for their computer and then try to download it. So I, I could just uh, try and download another one, a container virus, which it actually does, so I'm not going to run it. Hopefully we shall get, there we go, downloading from one host. So you can see I'm downloading from more than one host because it's got the list of hosts here and it will try and connect to as many as possible. So. You've noticed that I had a turbocharged connection. Now, what does this mean? This means I'm connected to five ultra peers. I can now cancel this. I'm connected to five ultra peers. Now, what's an ultra peer? Um, well, I said that all computers are equal. Well, with the new revision of the Nutella network, that's not strictly true because um, you can have things called ultra peers 
and leaves. Now, ultra peers are the people who can perform those searches that I was talking earlier, which are actually you know pulling all these files for me. And leaves are people with slower connections that aren't able to do such a thing. Um, so they're called leaves. And also, um, before you actually connect to your network, LimeWire decides or FrostWire decides if you have um, if you are a leaf or an ultra peer. So if I was to monitor my incoming searches, because what people are going to search for me, it'll say my client is a leaf node shielded by an ultra peer. So my client's a leaf because I don't leave it on long enough to share to people. Um, my connection should be fine, but either way. Um, so a shielded by an ultra peer, so I always connect to an ultra peer who then does all this search thing that I just told you about. So that basically is how LimeWire works. Um, I hope that you can understand that. Um, if someone can explain it more simply, then go go nuts and leave a comment or something. Um, right, okay, uTorrent. Now, you'll notice that when you get a use uTorrent, that you can't search anywhere. Uh, if I open this, it's got a, uTorrent has just got a blank box. What am I supposed to do? Well, what you do is um, you download torrent files off the internet, which you can, you can download from torrent sites. Uh, now what do torrent files contain? They tell you what tracker to connect to. If I just double click this, um, it tells me what tracker I need to connect to. Um, so if I go to general, it says my tracker URL is torrent.bintu.com. So this is the server I'm connecting to, or the tracker, because the tracker is a server. And all the server does, or the tracker does, is provide me with statistics on where to get my file from. Uh, it does it all for you, so don't worry. It tells me where to get the file from and tells me who's getting the file currently. So if I was to search peers or click peers, it these are all the people that are getting this file right now or who own the file, which I'm then downloading off. And you'll notice that there's loads that I'm downloading off at the moment. That's because it doesn't download the file sequentially. It does it through pieces. And you see all these blocks here. I'm downloading the blocks. Um, there's about... 1,203 pieces or something that I'm downloading of various people. This just allows your download to be faster. Um, I thought that's about it really. Um, the, uh, the tracker provides in information on where to, on the peers that you're connecting to to download your file. So it's the backbone of um, the torrent. So if the tracker was to go offline now, there shouldn't be a problem. I still should be able to download my file. But if it was to go off um, or go offline before you start, um, you actually start downloading, then you won't be able to do it because um, it contains all the information on where to download from. So, uh, also with these f these pieces, um, one person starts off having the full file and then people start downloading from that guy and then they have pieces and it puts less strain on that main guy from downloading uh, files off his connection. So you can then download off other people and then it saves money and hardware and things like that. So next up is iMesh, which Kazar uses the same thing as iMesh. So if you heard of Kazar, it uses fast track, which you'll notice I spoke about ultra peers and the fact that people who have faster connections and share more and things like that. Um, that's also the same as a super node and uh, they these handle the requests from um, normal nodes, uh, which are clients, which are normal people. Um, so uh, these to work the same way. Um, you can have seeders and leeches on here. Seeders are people who um, who seed the complete file so they share it out to other people and leeches are people who download the file but limit their upload so you can't, um, it's harder to download from them and they're frowned upon in the torrent community. Um, eDonkey, I'll start up email. I couldn't start up iMesh because I hadn't signed up or whatever. Uh, I've just got a minute to explain this. As you can see it comes up with a list of servers, very nice servers here. Um, you can manually connect to a server to the guy who's got the full file so you're manually, connect, manually connecting to a guy who's got the full file and then he'll give the, that computer will give you a list of all the other people you can download off so instead of using a tracker or a super node or anything like that you're downloading off a, directly off that, so that guy who's got the file or there's a list of servers here that you can connect to with their IPs here so uh, I suppose you can search for a server using the email network or something but either way you know, it says ED2K not connected because it also uses the CAD network, but I'm not going to explain it because I've run out of time. So hopefully you'll now understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, then leave a comment explaining more simply or just Google it. Um, these are the files that I've been using. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks again.